Hello guys, welcome back once again. So today we are solving for k. If 8 minus k uh, squared is equal to 81. So I'm going to use two methods to solve this question. Okay, so let us start with the method one. So let's start with the method one. Okay, so the method one we are going to use a minus b all squared which is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared okay so now our equation when we resolve is going to be so our a is this okay and then our k is the b so we are going to get 8 squared minus 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by k plus a squared is equal to 8 1 like this. So now 8 squared is 64 minus 2 times 8, we are getting 16 times k is 16 k plus k squared. Then this, let's bring it here, which is negative 81 and is equal to 0. So let's uh, rearrange this in a simple order, okay? So we are going to get k squared minus 16k n plus 64 minus 81 is equal to 0. So from here, we have k squared minus 16k, 64 minus 81, we are getting negative 17, which is equal to zero. So with this, let us use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation, of which our a is equal to one, our b is equal to 16, and our c is negative 17. So k is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's do the substitution here, which is equal to, so minus minus to become positive 16 plus or minus square root of 16 squared negative 16 squared minus 4 multiplied by a plus 1 c is negative 17 and it is all over 2 multiplied by 1. So from here we are going to get 16 plus or minus square root of 16. So 16 squared, we are getting 2, 5, 6, plus 4 times 17, we are getting 68, okay? But then we are having negative, negative, so it will result in positive. So which is positive 68 all over 2. Now, 16 plus or minus 2, 5, 6 plus 6, 8, we are getting 3, 2, 4. Square root of 3, 2, 4 over 2. Okay, so from here, we are going to get k is equal to 16 plus or minus square root of 3, 2, 4 is 18. So 18 on 2. So what k is equal to 16 plus 18 on 2, and then k is equal to 16 minus 18 on 2. So from here, our k is equal to 17, and then here to our k is equal to negative 1. Now let's solve method 2. In method 2, we are going to use this formula, which is a squared minus b squared, which is equal to 
a b brackets a plus b so we can get this in algebra so if you are forgetting about this can you visit the algebra so from here our equation now becomes which is 8 minus k all squared then minus 81 is equal to 0 so 8 minus k all squared this 81 we can write it as 9 squared and is equal to 0 so comparing this with this our a is the whole of this and b is 9 okay so let's resolve this using the formula so we are going to get a minus b which is 9 and then a plus b which is 8 minus k plus 9 and it's equal to 0. so from here you are going to get negative k minus 1 this and this we are getting 17 so negative 17 so 17 minus k is equal to zero so for me a negative k minus one is equal to zero 17 minus k is equal to zero so here you see that k is equal to negative one and from here, you see that k is equal to 17. Now, for getting these answers with different methods, let us verify to see if it is true that this solution set satisfies the equation. Okay, so for k is equal to negative 1, I'm going to get 8 plus 1 all squared is it equal to 8 1 8 plus 1 is 9 so 9 squared is it equal to 81 9 squared is the same as 81 so 81 is equal to 81 so it is correct for this let's check for k is equal to 70. so we are going to get 8 plus so it should be minus okay it's minus 17 to like a square is it equal to 81 so with this we have negative 9 all squared is it equal to 81 negative 9 squared we are getting a positive 81 which is equal to 81 so it means that these two answers are the real solution for the question please don't forget to subscribe for more bye bye